so got a new toy the new bull the new bull armory four and a quarter this is the tech version not the edc version so this is completely steel um and i got the non-ported version but um she runs well and i do have a tlr 7x on this which fits on my holster here from t-rex arms this is a staccato c2 with a uh, t tlr 7a weapon mold onto it but thing folds just fine and i do carry this and this is probably one of the most comfiest holsters i've ever worn ever this genius freaking genius but anyways let's talk a little bit more about the gun so i did something a little different this time i wanted to uh get some perspective from outside sources aka some of my friends and um seeing what their thoughts on it i broke one i broke joker's um 2011 uh or double stack 1911 um cherry by shooting this and his reaction was priceless but think joker's never run in 2011 before so today will be his first time running one all right all right first the trigger <laughs> The trigger. Uh, that's what, like a pound and a half, three. maybe. That's like three, two. Uh, I didn't, I didn't touch this gun until Murph handed it to me. So, literally, I was not expecting that wall to be so fast. Also, there's no creep. Yeah. There's no mush. There's no squish. You are right here, and then you're. That little bit of play is right where the wall is. Yep. I got the safety on right now, but that was it. I get you guys, just, uh, you know, just kind of share a little bit more in depth uh, from people who um you know more experienced shooters but you know just sh share have them share their thoughts on uh this piece right here and what they like about it and honestly dude all i have to say about this thing is everything's so freaking positive about this piece um this comes in i think around uh, 2200 give or take i watched a brass tech video recently nice. and he did a very good job of uh, creating an analogy as far as price and what you get right absolutely it starts on a very very uh, exponential curve and then that curve becomes more and more flat that's yeah. the price goes up yeah because eventually like you said this is 2100 right uh 22 yeah 22 22 yeah. staccatos are somewhere around 25 yeah something like that what what are you getting for that 400 right like what are you paying for the difference between this and that yeah it might be some tighter tolerances might be some tighter machine but for the average shooter, are you, are you really even going to notice? Yeah, do you notice, right? Uh, people who shoot like very, very often can't tell. Yeah. They can't tell. Now, I would also, having never shot a Taurus 2011, but I would hazard to guess that you would still see a noticeable difference even in a new shooter right. between shooting a $700 uh, 2011 as you would a $21 or $2200. That's, that's, where that, yeah. that's where you're getting the price per whatever you want to quantify it. Right. Price per gun, price per quality, price per shooting. Right. Uh, whatever that means. Full armory, you're definitely winning you're definitely winning fans, alright? But yeah, so I do have a surprise for you at the end of this video. And I'll just go ahead and just uh show you guys or just kind of share with you guys what Chuck and Joker's uh perspective on it a little bit and tune in for what I haven't seen yet, but I kinda wanna do later. So What's going on guys? It's Chuck. Um so out here Murph. We're uh, Friday afternoon shoot, you know, week's been long and like, hey man, let's go, let's go burn some lead and smell some gunpowder. So uh, we drove out here towards Eden, Utah and uh, found a place on our beautiful public land to just spread a little freedom seeds. Um, uh, Murph brought his new Bull Armory TAC 4.25. Um, I don't have a lot of experience with 2011s, uh, especially uh, more Gucci ones like this. Uh, shot a couple of staccatos a few times but nothing nothing more than a, you know magazine here or there between buddies uh, first impression first thoughts uh, i really like it it is a really smooth firing gun uh, i like the way it feels very well balanced the uh, checkering especially very uh, m&p 2.0 uh, like yeah, words are hard for me sometimes um, but very, very aggressive, but not so aggressive that it's uncomfortable to handle. Um, he's got the hollow sun PID on here. It's just what he's running. I mean, 
I'm more of a uh, Streamlight guy, but it's because I'm poor and I have one holster. And as long as the pistol fits with Streamlight on it, I don't have to buy another holster, which works out for me. But uh, no, I really like this thing. Um, really been considering spending the money on getting a 2011 and like anyone else, want to get as much time on a, as many as I can. I oh, well, thank you, sir. You're welcome. Uh, I want to get as much time on a, as many as I can before I go and drop the coin on it. And I'll say this thing, the five or six mags I've ran through it, I've fallen in love with it. It's yeah. just flat as shit. Uh, Murph's a big bull guy. He's a big 2011 guy for someone new into shooting. You know, he didn't grow up doing it, but uh, I did. But I grew up shooting, you know, revolvers and straight 1911s. So these 2011s, oh look, it's loose again. Check your gear, Murph. You almost lost that. Oh, it's just the, it's just the, the optics, optics plate. plate. Yeah, it's not that important, but you also don't want to lose your stuff. Tighten your, tighten your screws, kids, tighten your screws. Uh, but no, I, I really like this thing, man. Like yeah. this is this is cool. Your other bull, I, I don't remember the model. Um, that thing's real cool, but it's a little shorter, isn't it? Yeah, it's, a, it's my uh, the ultra light. It's a four and a quarter. Oh no, it's a three and a quarter. Three and a quarter, yeah. Three yeah. And a quarter. So a full inch shorter on the barrel. That's a cool gun, cool carry gun. Um, you know, if you're gonna do multi-purpose stuff, you know, training with the boys, carrying conceal, or maybe, your law enforcement guy getting uh, getting some duty time. I think that three three and a quarter would be a little short, but like getting into this four point two five, I think that would I think that would definitely be a sweet spot for you. Um, really, just depends on what you're doing. Uh, I would 100% run one of these. I wasn't poor. I wasn't poor. I would. Um, but no, man. I think if you sell a couple of guns, you're not hitting me right now. Well, yeah, but I've got a problem. It's kind of an addiction. Uh, and I want, I want to have to wonder which corner of the house I've got guns in because I've got so many versus, you know, quantity and quality. There's a hundred percent an argument there, but if you have a quantity of quality, you're my kind of guy. Yeah. But uh, Marf, I'll give the thing back to you. All right. So, I mean, you've had a little more, little more trigger time on it now. You've had what, two, three weeks? Uh, no, I actually had a couple of days. <laughs> you only had this a couple of days? Yeah. Uh, let me see. I think I got. It came in. Um, I think a. Uh, I I went shooting with this with Joker, and that's. So it was like a week ago. So you've had it like a week. Oh um, no, almost six, just six days. Six okay. days. Just yeah, shy just, of a week. Saturday yeah, or last? Yeah. Left. So Joker and I shot this on on. Uh, on Saturday. Big shout out, Joker. How yeah. you doing, buddy? Joker. Yeah. Miss you. It's Wish okay. you could be here. Yeah. Now we gotta see if Sig Mag's right. Well, yeah, damn it up. Alright. Oh, Here's the real question. Oh shit, here we go. Does it run Sig Mag's? Yeah, and um, you know, we decided to just uh, come out here and run this, but um, this is actually one of the models that you're able to get from Bull Armory. This is the TAC version, not the TAC Pro. The TAC Pro allows you to get ports on it. I got the... This is slide one, cut. Well, it's speed not just slide Speed holes. Cut. Actually, Editor, please come, put in the uh, speed holes thing from The Simpsons. I'd really love you if you did that. Speed holes. So the funny thing is, is actually all the models now comes with this slide comes cut. With comes with so the that cut. So that if you wanted to get a ported barrel, you could? You could. Oh, and that's, that's something nice. that Joker, he looked at me, he goes like, dude, if you're going to run this threaded, why don't you just get a porter barrel? Because you're going to be threaded, since you're, you know, your threaded barrel is going to be come with that anyways. And I looked at him, I was like, damn it, you're right. You're right. <laughs> so I was like, oh, whatever. Maybe officer to be right. Yeah. So, but anyways, this is the TAC, uh, this is the TAC model. Um, there's an EDC version of this model, which is a uh, four and a quarter as well, but you get this in aluminum, this is the steel. This is the steel framed. And my God, dude, the steel, they're like... I'm, I'm definitely I'm definitely steel frame gun. Yeah, I mean, here. you guys have seen this. This is my go-to uh, SIG 226 Legion. Um, the only reason I got that over one of these is these are a lot cheaper than those. And I'm uh, poor. These are like, definitely can, worth it. You can run this thing like I just, like if you want to show them, Chuck. You can yeah, yeah, fast we'll, you can uh, run we'll we'll run it here after. Yeah, we can just run the trigger on this thing. But the thing is absolutely gorgeous. Um, uh, when Joker was first ran, he thought that this trigger was like at least a pound or two. And I was like, it kind of feels like that. Uh, I mean, I don't know. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say a pound like, or two. I'd say, like three. I'd say three. Yeah, three. I'd say no more, no, no more than three and a half, but no less than uh, two and a half. Yeah, absolutely. Some, somewhere right in there. Bull Armory probably has it on their website and we failed to do our part. Fact taking 
yeah. and you know note cards we're getting we're new at this we're getting there yeah but uh you know regardless this thing um like i said this thing runs and for some reason for me this four and a quarter is just it's that it's that good feel. it's that yeah. good feel for me like Those, i shot five inches before uh you know with nine mils and stuff like that but for some reason four and a quarter just it hits it dude i mean that's what the glock 19 is right yeah. it's four and a quarter and i mean hard to argue glock 19's been or at least in in the past maybe not anymore things are changing nowadays but for a while glock 19 reigned supreme for concealed carry guns and duty guns for a very long and time and sure. it's a it's a definite solid uh barrel length i've got the glock 45 which is the glock 19 with the 17 length frame yeah and uh i, I love it i finally i just got it uh optic cut nice and finally. i think that optic i bought from you won't fit why <laughs> because it's a hollow sun direct mount because i got it milled it's not a uh -huh. it's not a factory optic cut uh -huh. and i think the hollow sun that i bought from you i think that's for the skinny slides no there's actually uh there's a plate in there's there a plate that, yeah there's a plate in there that fits rmr that fits rmr cut well i was just talking out my ass folks we're, <laughs> we're, gonna, do, we're gonna do a couple of a couple of mag dumps yeah or a couple of just you know just shooting two three rounds and just kind of just showing you how it goes kinda, how the feel is yeah. Uh, but uh, here's one thing I really been liking about the bolt. They give like this is the only gun, and I bought a lot of guns that were around like tw like two grand. This is the only one that I bought that felt like it was worth it. I bought two Staccato CSs. Um, I bought blackout defenses, Saipe rifles. But all every all this was all, all over well over you know two grand. I even bought a Wilson Combat SFX nine four inches that is you know well in three grand. This is the only gun that I've bought that I felt it was like a bang for my buck. Here's a couple of reasons why. It comes with four mags. Four magazines with all 20 rounds. 20 rounds, okay? And uh, general 2011 style magazines, they're running what? 80 to 100 90, bucks a mag? After taxes and shipping, dude. Yeah, taxes and shipping. Holy De definitely, right. definitely expensive on the magazines. Yeah, absolutely. And this comes with four mags, which is not bad at all. Four 20 rounders? Four 20, four 20 rounders. Four 20 and the base rounders? place. You know, they all come with base place too. Oh, yeah. It expands it, right? If without the base plates, you're looking at 18, which is not bad, but plus two, not bad at all. Not only that, this comes with three optics plates, Delta Point Pro, RMSC, and RMR cuts. Uh, all plates, and if you're getting a Staccato, they don't come in with uh, plates for your optics, and you have to buy them separately from Dawson Precision, which is like an extra 150 before taxes and before shipping. So with this, um, I... What did you, what'd you take this one home for? What'd you leave the gun store with this at? Uh, so after taxes and shipping, 23. 23, that's not bad. That's not bad. That's right there, the starting price when you're building out a Scotto, right? Or somewhere close? 24, 25. Okay, so I mean, you know. Let's be honest, feet. let's be honest, guys. 100 bucks, this economy, it ain't nothing. It ain't nothing. Thank you, Mr. Biden, you're a wonderful individual. <laughs> <laughs> that would be, uh, if you kids don't understand what that was, that was called satire. Yeah. But regardless, I mean, it's, you're, it's coming with three optics plates plus an optics cover uh, for if you just want to run irons, four magazines, and this thing is a full dust cover as well. God, man. So you can't really see it here, but normal dust covers would end there, right there. and then you would have a step down to the barrel. This one's got the full, full dust, dust cover. And now, oh, here we go. Kind of like this one, right. how you got that little bit of the barrel sticking out. Right there. The dust cover stops, barrel continue, barrel and slide continue. This one's got a full coverage. Yeah, and uh, but do you want to explain to them what a full dust cover does to your guns? Uh, so a full dust cover adds weight um, and front end weight on a handgun, uh, especially rifles. They're they're different barrel harmonics stuff like that. But on a handgun, uh, front front weight helps bring your barrel back down faster and helps keep your helps keep your gun more level than it would without it. Yep. So the more weight you have in the front. When you recoil, it comes back. Gravity is your friend on that, and then it still helps pull your barrel back down with gravitational force that helps get you lined back up on target, ready to line sights, squeeze trigger again. It's easy to get your sight picture back in place after you pulled your trigger, because yep. the first, uh, you know, after what's more important uh, than your first shot is your second shot, your follow-up shots. So this allows you to get your follow-up shots much quicker. So, and not only that, shooting this one-handed is actually pretty fun. Like, Roger yeah. did it, and well, he was like, damn. Yeah, we were we were doing some fun little stuff, and one of them ended up where we were shooting one-handed, and it I, worked. <laughs> I I had the advantage because I had the red dot. And yeah, he's he, also a little yeah. A little he had the advantage for, for sure. But uh, no, I'll have to we'll have to 
Set the right. camera back up and let's yeah. uh oh shit, I could I could shoot sitting. You can shoot sitting? I could shoot Wait, sitting. Wait, hold on. Let me get a good good close up. Well if you're if you're gonna adjust it, we'll just stand up. On your check. Alright, All right, we're just gonna run a couple rounds through, just get the feel for it. You guys see the slide run and uh we'll see if I can shoot at all. Because I'm terrible. Okay, go, go for it. Oh, you can't do that upside down. Yeah, you gotta get the grip, the grip safety. That's my purse, I don't know you. Now we're out. Good luck in that So yeah, obviously this is gonna be a first, this is our, our kind of our first looks on it. I've already put in maybe like 400 rounds through this, give or take, and no jams, no uh, failure to feeds. It just, just runs beautifully. Um, this is gonna be a part one because we all heard that. That was pretty awesome. Um, this guys is gonna be up, a part one. Guys up over that right over way there. are having fun. So much fun. So by, uh, by the way, this is gonna be a part one because for part two, what I wanna do is first test the optic plates, um, but I'm also gonna be running her suppressed. I got a barrel coming in from uh, DC, uh, DSC Gunworks from Dave Simkick. I've been going to him for quite some time now with my porting options, my dibble options, and uh, optic cuts and stuff like that and uh, yeah, he actually does threaded barrels for bull armory in this length as well so i'm pretty excited That's so a, that is ooh, looking forward to that yeah so that you know you know stay tuned i guess uh, but yeah it'll be pretty cool because i've never seen anyone run a threaded uh run this thing suppressed and it'll be kind of nice i already had two uh was it two gun tubers um was it thin uh was it walls from thin line co defense and uh, Nightwood Guns, who are very huge fans of Bulls as well. So they're kind of looking forward to, you know, seeing how this results as well. But, you know, got one more mag in here. Let's uh, let's see how this, uh, see how she runs, right? So remember, I'm a 5'5 uh, five, five guy. My hands are really tiny and uh, I love Yep, she smokes. She's very well. Yeah. Remember, kids, if she smokes, she pokes. <laughs> but look at that. Pretty beautiful. Lovely. And yeah, so I guess uh, stay tuned for part two. Yeah. There you go.